buyers after a rough and tumble off-roader with seven seats have plenty of options to choose from, and in the Toyota stable there are a few models that tick those boxes, too. Here is one of them, the most affordable of the bunch, the 2017 Toyota Fortuner, which starts from just $47,990, all prices plus on-road costs. But that's not what you'll be paying if you're looking at the version on test here, the Toyota Fortuner Crusade, which is a $61,990 proposition. For that sort of money you might also consider a low-spec Land Cruiser Prado. Or, if you're not actually going to venture off the beaten track, then you might think about the Kluger, unless you're dead set keen on diesel power. So, being the top-spec model you'd expect it would come loaded with kit. And the truth is that it's not quite as flush for gear as you may expect at that price point. You get niceties over the GX and GXL modules including leather trim, LED daytime lights, brilliant by LED headlights that are fantastic for those who do a lot of night driving, and LED rear lights, as well as 18-inch wheels with highway rated tires, Dunlop Grand Trek PT26560, rather than the 17-inch alloys or steelies of the lower grade models, which have all-terrain rubber fitted. The 7.0-inch touchscreen media system is better than the lower-spec cars, too, with inbuilt satellite navigation and DAB plus digital radio reception, but it still doesn't have the latest in-car connectivity by way of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto mirroring tech. It has a single USB port, as well as Bluetooth phone and audio streaming. But as we've found with numerous Toyota products in the past, the system is frustrating in that it won't allow you to dial contacts or use the keypad at speed, which makes it impossible to check your messages, for example. You can't use the navigation while the car is moving, another dumb blocking function, we reckon, but the screen is quick to connect and reconnect to your phone. The Toyota misses a lot of the safety equipment you can find on high-spec versions of its competitors. For instance, you don't get blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, lane keeping assistance, surround view camera, forward collision warning, autonomous emergency braking or digital speed readout. You can get some more all of those items on the range topping versions of the Mitsubishi Pajero Sport and Holden Trailblazer, both of which are about $9,000 less.